that stent thrombosis is not uncommon within the first two years after primary percutaneous coronary interventions in ST segment elevation MI. A question that interventional cardiologists frequently ask is whether there is a difference between the incidence of stent thrombosis in bare metal versus drug-eluting stents, and whether adjunctive pharmacology has any impact. Now in circulation, researchers answer that question in evaluating data from the Horizons AMI trial that included more than 3,500 patients with acute MI. Definite or probable stent thrombosis within two years occurred in 4.4% of patients, of which about one quarter were early and about one half late. Interestingly, there was no difference between thrombosis in bare metal or drug-eluting stents. As far as adjunctive pharmacology is concerned, there was more acute stent thrombosis in patients randomized to bivalorudin monotherapy versus heparin plus a 2B3A inhibitor, whereas stent thrombosis after 24 hours occurred less frequently in patients with bivalorudin compared with heparin plus a 2B3A inhibitor. There was something that appears to have really made a difference. Pre-randomization to heparin and a 600 milligram clopidogrel loading dose were independent predictors of reduced acute and subacute stent thrombosis. What's the take-home message for acute MI interventions? It seems that using bare metal stents or DES makes no difference, but early antithrombin therapy and preloading with clopidogrel may reduce early stent thrombosis and improve prognosis in these patients. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.